everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute since i've given you guys a vlog life has been life in but this will be the first vlog of the 2023 again happy new year i know i'm late right now in this particular vlog as the thumbnail suggests i'll be giving you guys a review on moon palace right now also i have very good news to announce in this vlog so guys please make sure you watch it till the end right and this is part one so you don't have to turn on post notification for part two now this is the entrance to moon palace now moon palace is located in Ocheria, saint and jamaica now i've said this before in some of my previous vlog that this particular hotel is the only hotel in Ocherius in saint and that i have any interest in going to so you know some of my friends birthdays so my very good friends it was their birthday and they, we decided hey let's do a mini vacay and let's go to moon palace right so as you can see we pulled up they're getting our luggage out when we got there we were greeted by these two lovely men here that were giving us the little cold towels as well as some roses well i'm not sure if they were there were some flowers right i'm not sure what type of flow it is but this was a very nice gesture and uh, you know you, you just feel welcome right it was very sweet look at me smelling it it didn't have any scent i don't it's just like an instinct to just you get a flower and you smell it anyways moon palace jamaica oh and when you step in right listen it was christmas time so you know it's wedding season so there was a lot a lot of weddings and look at this beautiful christmas tree that they have in the middle um it was very nice right so stepped in as you can see i don't know if you can see properly but it's marble floor so that's the one thing with this particular hotel everything is marble but first thing first we're just gonna get a little drink you know so that this is the lobby bar this is the main lobby bar that's right here so as you step in you know you know where the drinks are anyway time for us actually check in so like i was saying guys the entire place is marble and you know for the most part it's white but sometimes when you look at the tiles you might see some little brown areas but that's how you know it's real marble because you know stone ages sometime and they give this different color after a while and this particular hotel is four diamonds so yes that's four diamonds not four stars and it I believe this is the only diamond hotel that is in Jamaica. Now, anyways, check-in in process was very smooth. There wasn't any hiccups, you know, um, the front desk persons, they were very pleasant. And afterwards, they even told us the different um, services that they have and the different restaurants and how to book them and all of that. So, checking in was very smooth, right? And then after that, now it's time to head up to the room. So I guess can give you guys the room tour and this is where we are 30401 um so our party this room that I got was for me just pretty basic and um we this wasn't a trip that was planned way in advance and then you know when it's christmas time you can't have to book way in advance because the places tend to be overbooked so this was a very basic room, but we're working with it and give thanks we're even able to book. So this is the bed. This is the king size bed. And then we have a nightstand on either side of the bed. And over in the corner right here is the dinette, you know, for us to sit and eat, order and room service, all of that. Now, as always, you know, I love a good view. But as with all of the videos, if you've watched, you see I always struggle with these curtains. Anywho, after getting the curtains out of the way, I realized this is our view. Not the best. We've seen some rooftop. If you, if I zoom in, you know, there it is. There's the ocean view. You know, a cruise ship was in port. So, you know, not a bad view. I'll probably give it like a 4 out of 10. Like I said, my room was very, very basic. I didn't even have a balcony. Can you imagine that? Here in Jamaica, I didn't have a balcony. But anywho, we got wine, right? So that was very nice. And this right here was one of the seller for the room when i say seller, i mean as in it sold the room right so this is the mini fridge and this has to be the most stocked mini fridge that i've ever seen at a hotel right so you guys saw the swizzles sorry i mean juice boxes right they had this is what presidente which i first i'm seeing it but i did try it and i realized that it was a beer i'm not a big beer fan and they had red stripe most hotels tend to have red stripe as the beer that they have we have um, um soda water tonic water you know coca-cola 
all of that good stuff so the, the mini fridge was very stocked and i really appreciated that but this right here is the first i'm seeing in any hotel so we basically had our own little bar right they gave us a selection of we had kingston 62 we had smirnoff vodka and we had a whiskey right there in the corner that was called teachers it was the first time i'm trying that as well and how it works it gives you a, it dispenses a shot at a time so you push it up like that and that's the shot that you get so listen loved loved this i really appreciated that that was in the room now this is the bathroom oh mm. like i said very basic you know we only have one vanity there's no double vanity there's no bath you know um the shower was there um i'm gonna show you guys the show of course i don't know why i thought this could pull out i don't know why <laughs> but as you can see it's still marble like so like i said the entire theme throughout the entire hotel is marble appreciated this um led mirror as well you know wish there was a foot length mirror but there wasn't this is the shower right here as i mentioned before the marble tends to stain or age i should say um, because there's some amount of iron in it so if you know that you know that with marble there can be some amount of oxidation because iron will be in the marble so if you go there and you see that the marble is not completely white or in the bathroom it has some brown in it no need to be alarmed and this is the shower gel and a little soap some more shower gel shampoo you know basic amenities that you will see in any hotel bathroom you know but it was it was just so small like i feel like no more than one person could be in this bathroom area then we have the closet we had robes appreciated the robes um a safe was there of course and then um what was different at this hotel again that i've never seen at any other hotel is that they gave us a flat iron which i thought was very cool i've never seen a flat iron at any other hotels that i've been to so appreciated that in terms of it being there i never use a flat iron as you can see i've been braids <laughs> and there was also the blow dryer um among you know so a lot of different amenities um showing you guys the sprinkler as well as you know the wi-fi the wi-fi was good at the hotel and good in the room as well smoke detector carbon monoxide detector all of that so that's pretty much the room tour right there after we finished checking in we just you know went down to see what the rest of the hotel was like you know they had mirrors everywhere this is us idling around i don't have knees like meg or i should say knees like katie so <laughs> <laughs> but right now we're gonna go into the property tour right and guys remember i said i have an announcement that i want to make and i'm very excited about it so just stick around i'm gonna talk about that very soon right now we're down on the property and um right here is like basically the pool area they had at least i would say four different pool areas and at least two or three swim up bars so that that was good right and each swim up bar kind of had like a snack bar as well so this is a snack bar right here and then you can see that this is the other pool area and this particular pool area as you can see has a slide now i don't know if i've mentioned before but i feel like the juice box should have given it away it's a family resort right it is a family resort there is no i don't think there's any separation in terms of there's an adult only side or a family side it's just a family resort right around so hence that slide hence this is a playground area right here the kids love this little area right here every time look at her every time i walk past right here it was full right so it's a family resort guys now for the beach and you can see they have the canoe they have that bicycle thing they have the hobo they have life jackets they have paddle board they have all of that you know which is again typical at most hotels except for the bicycle this is the first hotel i've seen that bicycle but as you can see i'm bringing you guys down to the beach they had these cabanas that were here but they weren't available for everyone it was only for diamond elite also guys remember to follow me over on instagram i actually made it to a hundred thousand followers on instagram and i just want to say thank you I am so very shocked and so very happy at the same time. And I would just love that same energy over here on YouTube. So if it is that you really like this video, please share it. Please. Thank you. Um, as you, Well, this right here was a setup for a wedding, as I mentioned before. December was when we went there. So, you know, it's, that's wedding season. That's prime wedding season. And this is a beach. Looks really nice, you know. Cruise ship was out there. You know, we got the nice, beautiful palm trees. When I looked to my left, there was kids building sandcastle and all of that. So, you know, this is the beach. 
however when i actually went into the water yeah it wasn't the best i wanted to do some snorkeling but i could not see anything in the water so um to swim in and to do snorkeling no right the beach wasn't for that per se and i'm kind of mixing the property tour with the entertainment as you can see so on this part of the beach they kind of made a small football field again in december was the time of fifa so everybody was a baller and they had three aside which is you know pretty self-explanatory three on one side three on the other side and you you went to a particular number and you knock out and then another team went so the winners would play another team and so on and so forth so Again, first time I'm seeing football at this hotel. When I went to Azul, they had cricket. Again, guys, check out my Hotels in Jamaica playlist where I do a review of the different hotels that I've been to. I don't get paid for these reviews, so they're very unbiased. So you definitely want to go and check it out if you're looking for a hotel to stay at in Jamaica, right? And when they're ready, that same area that was a football field is turned into beach volleyball. So here we have the guests playing with some of the employees and the employees isn't, <laughs> they didn't care that they were the guests, they were just doing their thing. Moving right along, we have the, this is a surf simulator. Um, and you know I had to go on this, so <laughs> we're going to circle back to this. So don't, guys, you have to stay tuned, we're going to circle back to this. I'm just trying to show you guys the rest of the property, right? So... Just adjacent to the surf simulator was another little area where could get food, was the sun deck. And they had pizza here. And we did try the pizza. You know, it was good. You know, it was good. Um, moving right along. So they have this property, this Moon Palace Hotel, have their own dolphin cove, right? Not a lot of hotels in Jamaica can say that they have their own Dolphin Cove. Normally, you'd have to go to Dolphin Cove, which is either in Ocherius or Montego Bay, right? But this property have their own Dolphin Cove. When we went inside to ask about bookings, they said that you had to book it at the front desk in the lobby area. It wasn't going back up there. And then only to find out afterwards that apparently today, that weekend that we went, was a rest time for the dolphins so you know even if we wanted to do swim with the dolphin or so forth we weren't able to but just so you guys know it's there right it says dolphin cove moon palace right and this is the opening time the programs which me just looking at it, it's like every two hours that they have a different program the hotel also had their own little deck um, sorry, like a docking area where you can do have your own catamaran and own boats just pull up and so forth so you know the fact that the hotel had all of this is uh, wow I, this is why it's you know four diamond because most hotels wouldn't necessarily have their own um dolphin cove you can see the dolphins right here or even have the own dock area where you know catamarans can pull up and pull off and all of that so yeah definitely one of those hotels where there's a lot on the hotel ground to do right so some people might say no need to leave the hotel right so we're back to the surf simulator and this young man right here look at him he's maintaining his balance and then on the other side you know this is how i saw everybody was doing it so i was just like okay this is it so of course of course i went ahead and tried it now several persons went before me and you know i just you know followed suit you know but you know say <laughs> i don't know some may vary this so you know the thing just bring me all the way down now after seeing me struggle the instructor he came over to where i was and he was just like young miss let me show you let me show you how it's done and you know he he gave me his advice he said i should belt, bend my elbows you know keep them tucked and you know go down on the board so that's him in the corner again telling me to, you know just go off and i was just all right so went again um still not not successful right so the the aim or at least what i thought the aim was um is to go down and then eventually you know end on your knees and so forth so as you can see i'm struggling again guys like share and most importantly subscribe and turn on post notification because i had to break up the moon palace vlog so this is just part one right anywho I went again because you know I'm still trying to get it but after this time I was just like you know what yeah I'm, I'm gonna call it quits I'm gonna leave it alone 
but then my friend who were at the bottom doing the video for me again i love you guys thank you for the video thank you for always doing just being there for me and you know doing the videos and so forth they were just like go again you know they cheered me on they shouted it you know to go again and you, you see sometimes you must listen to your, you must listen to your mind because i was done you know I was done but when i went again and look at this oh my god i went round and around look at that round and around like a washing machine man it felt like i was in a washing machine and the water bring me left it bring me right it yeah listen i would have probably been the first person to drown out there you know, it would have probably seen me on the news today that I drowned at Moon Palace on the surf simulator. It dealed me wicked, man. But this is how it should be. You see how that young girl right there, she's on her knees and she's balancing. And then on the other side with the... Listen, she just went down and up, up and down on her knees on the board while I was struggling. So, it's still fun though. I'm not, I'm not trying to discourage anybody from trying it, but it's still fun and it's a nice activity, obviously, for the kids and the adolescents. And since I'm doing the daytime beach water activities, they had this there as well. This is the flyboard, which is for $300 based on the little pamphlet that I gave us. And, you know, with everything you have to book in the lobby. They also had a scuba diving area. You know, I'm just mentioning this as well. This is it for beginners, um, which is like three hours. You, you they do a pool session and then they bring you out in the water all together. That's three hours and it's for 120 per person. But if you're a certified diver, you can get one tank, which is for $60. But if you wanted the two th tanks, then that's 120 And all in all, that would last roughly three hours as well. So... Those who want to do scuba diving can do it here as well. And I feel like it's time for my announcement. Guys, my website is up. So if you want to do some excursions off of the hotel, you can go there and book it. I'm going to talk more about it. But of course, the link will be in the description below. I'm just going to finish up with the property tour. So this is the fitness center. Um, this is the, the gym, obviously. So most hotels tend to have a gym and by far this was the cleanest hotel gym that i've ever been and it's pretty much had everything that you needed it had all the machines that a modern gym would have it had the treadmill had ellipticals you know lap pull down you know tvs were there and it was immaculate when i said that this gym was so clean it was very clean and if you did not have a, a pair of sneakers you could not go into the gym exercise not even if you had cracks like you need proper closed toe shoes but anyways again i'm still showing you guys the gym guys like share subscribe if you're still trying to make a decision on what hotel you want to stay at in jamaica i have a whole playlist with hotels if you're not a hotel person you've been going back and forth between airbnbs and hotels i also have a playlist with airbnbs and villas and i will be posting a lot more airbnbs and villas to that playlist so you need to turn on post notification as you can see those were the free weights we have the bicycles we have the open area where you guys can do yoga and all of that so fully equipped gym right and i mean yeah like i said it's clean now next to complete the property tour is the spa now let me tell you man this spa wow 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 this spa was really 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 beautiful right so that's this is one of the entrance to the spa area this is a waiting area and it's called the R spa and i mean it's quite fitting because i was in R when i went and i looked around the entire place so this is the area where you would go for for your manicures, your pedicures, you know, to get a haircut, to style your hair, to get a nail refill. You know, this is it, right? So you guys can have a, you know, I'm doing this so you guys can see what it is, what it looks like, you know? Because um, as I mentioned before, like this is a prime hotel where a lot of people will come to you know um for their weddings so with weddings you know you're gonna need a stylist and you want to know where it is you'll be staying so where you'll be getting it done and as you can see it's a nice clean beautiful area and they have all of the necessary equipments right so 
I actually never got the chance to book at the spa for a particular for massage because when I wanted to do it, that slot was filled. But I did get to do a tour, and this is a tour right here. Um, I believe this was one of the different steam rooms that they had, right? And they have the cucumber slices that you can put over your eyes. And then when you come out of the steam room, you can go into the ice room. And just from being outside of the ice room right here, it was very, 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 very cold. And then they, after leaving here, you would go onto one of these chairs, which is actually warm. Is that the correct word? They're like heated. That's what I should say, right? And they also had the shower. Now, the shower is basically a party. And this was actually the only rainfall shower head that I've seen in the entire property. Like the shower head that was in the rooms weren't necessarily like a full rainfall shower head. Oh, actually, this was the steam room. So what was the other room? I can't even remember. But as it, this is definitely the steam room. You can see the steam coming out of it. Um, they recommend no more than 10 minutes in this particular room. Listen, the spa was given spa. like, And then you come around here with the pool area. They had the the um different temperatures they had the hot tub area and then you know the cool warm you know different different areas so and whatever it is you book in the spa area if it's just a pedicure you have access to that pool right you have access to the area so if it is that you just want to come in the pool area just to you know you can just book a little pedicure if you're trying to be on a budget and so forth and then these were the um the different rooms where the different massages would take place you had single rooms and then you also had double rooms for couple massages this is one of the, the table one of the massage um table right here and unfortunately like i said i never got the chance to actually do a massage i tried to book but the slot that i wanted to do wasn't available and then they were booked out for the rest of the time so it never really worked out but i do plan to go back i would go back to this hotel and for me to say that says a lot. I would definitely go back to this hotel. And when I do, I would definitely do the spa again. I would do the spa this time around. Right? So this is the bathroom. They also had a little basket with sanitary pads, which was very good. And, you know, it's nice, clean, just like the rest of the hotel. And this is where it would have changed off as well. So, you know, this basically concludes the tour for the spa. And, well, like I said, whenever I go back... Because I do plan to go back. I will definitely book a uh, massage at the spa. And I'll let you guys know how it went. Also, they had the different bars. So this one, this is a piano bar. Which is adults only. And for the most part, this was pretty secluded. So if it is that you want some quiet time. You know, away from everybody. You know, this is, a, this is one of the nice bars to go to. And a bartender was there most of the time as well. So... The piano bar was there. Was there a piano though? I think there was a piano, but nobody was playing it. But I believe there was a piano at the piano bar. Another bar lounge area that they had was this one right here. And we came in here to watch the World Cup because that was happening at the time. And this was more of a sports bar. So, as you can see, they have all the different bars. Next, I'm going to shift gears and I'm going to go into the nighttime entertainment. And this is Club Noor, which is in the hotel and by far one of the best hotel clubs that I've ever been to. Right? I truly, truly, truly enjoyed myself at this club right here in the hotel. And the club is adults only, right? The club went all the way up to 2 a.m., we went there Friday night, we went to the club Saturday night as well. I don't believe it was open on Sunday night, you know, so there's a day of rest. And you know, this is it, everybody was in there, you know, there's a bar at the back. And when we got in, they actually seated us, you know, just like what you would do at a regular club, you know, like the, you know, the come and say how many persons they seat you, they bring you your drinks and all of that. And, you know, everybody's, you know getting the dj was warming up the party warming up the party and then i mean afterwards we were here we were warm and what i really liked about this club is that everybody that was in the hotel was very diverse so we had black people we had locals we had indians we had the chinese we had you know caucasians we had a wide array of people 
and everybody just came together and was just dancing and having the time but uncle right here he won he won that night now let me tell you when that indian music dropping off listen i felt like i was in trinidad and tobago i've never been but i just feel like maybe this is what it would have been probably like in trinidad or even in ghana um like you know and then out of nowhere everybody everybody was dancing to the same indian song all of us every single body and everybody was hyping him, him up and it wasn't just indian music that was played we had hip-hop we had dance hall if you were at the top of the, the the board that was above the dj it said international night and listen young sir right here in the block going up and down listen he killed me i listen <laughs> i i laughed so hard look at him oh listen they definitely enjoyed themselves it was the club was top tier I give the club at 11 out of 10. I truly enjoyed myself. It may, might have been the liquor, but it wasn't just the liquor because the vibe was there right throughout the entire night, right? Shifting gears, another thing that they had there. You know, if you're not up for the hype thing or the club thing, they have live music, live band, you know. This area actually has a lot of seats. So I know it's not shown here in the video, but there's a lot of seats that are here. So if you guys want to go to the live band, you can so next is the weird lounge which is basically an arcade right it's kind of like coral cliff here in montego bay or um i guess you guys call it Chuck E. cheese abroad is what you guys have so you know it has a wide array of different games you know and i listen probably i think this is the only hotel in jamaica that has this so this is definitely for the kids not just for the kids but for adults as well because i definitely came down here and enjoyed myself so you can see air hockey they have the pool table there was a basketball thing they had um what's this called again i forgot what's the name of that little table a little table that you knock the ball from this what is it what is it what is it man anyways they have that you see what it is now the area we can get popcorn and then there's a room at the back where you can sit and play video games so that xbox playstation you know i listen very 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 good so this makes it a very good family resort because you know some kids this is all they want to do they just want to sit down and play video games they don't really want to be outside or anything like that so you can leave them in there and you go about your business right so, of course, I had to engage in different games that they had there. Basketball, you know, I'm trying to see if I still got it. And, you know, I'm not going too bad. I'm not going too bad. Right? And then after the after the basketball, um, I, I went ahead on the, um, the bike. You guys will probably be wondering, why am I so dressed up to come down here where I'm in a red dress? Well, my friend and I were actually waiting on the birthday queen's to be done ready in for dinner and they took a very long time so i had some time to spare so i came down here to partake in these little games that they had right and listen y'all know i'm a born winner i'm a born winner and I'm, a, I'm also a natural competitor so you know i i thrive to 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 place good in these little games um but you can see the games you can watch the rest of it all in all it was very good as i mentioned before regarding my announcement right so my website is up and running so you know even though this particular hotel has a lot of stuff you can do here and maybe you don't choose this hotel and most hotels don't necessarily have this much for entertainment and you know it's always good to go off the resort and try our local cuisine try go to the waterfall go rafting you know horseback riding parasailing all of that so the link will be in the description below where you guys can go and book the excursions if you have any query you know on the website you'll see different ways you can contact me whether whatsapp or via email you can reach out and i will definitely definitely respond so you know once you come into jamaica you can book your different tours and excursions with me right and trust me you won't be disappointed you guys are gonna as much as there's stuff to do on the resort, it's always good to take at least one day. To spend one day off the resort to do a different stuff. And look at that. Second place. I got third in when I went when I did the bike and come back around. I got second. I always try to do better. But I digress. So, guys, head over to the website. 
and book your tours right like share subscribe turn on post notification for part two you guys would have obviously noticed by now i did not mention any food at this hotel and that's because i'm going to be talking about the food in part two so for for that part you know definitely turn on post notification yes because as i said in part two i'll be talking about the food right also there was the mini version of what i just showed you which is for the kids and these are the rules and you know one of the coolest things about this particular area is that you can drop off your kids so there's two women or at least three or four i'm not really sure of the amount of persons who work in here but they're here you know one is at the front desk there is a you give your name your room number contact number you drop them off at a particular time and you can pick them up in the evening right before it's gonna close and there are persons that are in there that are watching them and looking over them as well so i mean <laughs> i'm not saying it's a daycare but it's kind of like that and look at all the different toys that they have you know they have the little doll house the looking cooking station they have a lot of different games they even have the playstation area a little karaoke station you know and then we go around the back there is also um this area which is like a like a little slide area with a ball pit and i was in my head i came in here and was like this is so cool i'm just like why why don't we have an adult version for this you know honestly why don't we have a little adult version they have the little guns at the top where you can shoot and so on so of course you know me with my you know me being a big kid you know a true kid at heart i went up and i <laughs> i shot the little um thing right here and all of that so you know you guys have a full view of what this hotel is like in terms of the entertainment and the different games there's a slide and this is me sliding on the slide so i mean this pretty much concludes part one. Oh, and they also had this little mini bathroom area for them but like i said part two will be coming like share turn on post notification and i'll see you guys in part two you don't want to miss it